Grimaldi, please. What is the key word in this question that tells you what to do? Maximize, okay? What does maximize mean, please? Complete the square. So we will be ultimately completing the square. But this question is more difficult than our first one because you've got to make the equation yourself. Now, we've done lots and lots of these ones. Again, I feel bad I wasn't here. Was I here when we did these? I think I was here when we did these last week. But again, it's been a lot of, this is on a Tuesday that yeah. you weren't here for, though. Okay. We'll deal with it. Here we go. So it says puppies are sold for $300 and 40 will be sold. For every $25 raise, um, two less puppies are bought. Uh, and what price will maximize revenue? I'm going to start off and say X is going to be the number of raises. Why is going to be revenue. Now, on yesterday's worksheet, I gave you like a list. Sorry, I went too quick. You guys are still scrubbing. I'm too excited. I like puppies. I always like puppies. Wouldn't I ever not? Okay, I'm going to have to pause and tell you a little joke here. <laughs> you guys don't. You know, that doesn't need to hear. It's just like a little story. It is a little story. Uh, I got. Oh, what happened? Oh, I can't pause. I'm doing the wrong button. Great, we're talking. Okay, um, let's get an equation here right now. On yesterday's worksheet, I gave you a piece of paper and it said things to know. At the top, there were five things. Now, somebody, Aiden was asking about definitions and all that stuff. There won't be definitions or anything. But you do need to know all five of those things. The last one says revenue equals price times sale. And this is another question that if you don't remember this and need me to give it to you, I can do it, but it will cost you marks. Don't do that. Okay? And that's just how it goes. The price for one times how many you sell. So I'm going to make an equation. Y equals. Can someone please be brave and give me an expression just for price? What you'll be thinking of is the starting value and how much it changes. Liam, go. 300 plus 25 Lovely. Okay. 300 is your starting value. And it's going up 25, so it's plus 25 with the X. Awesome. Can I get someone else to give me an equation for sales? Go ahead, tell me. Yeah. 40 minus 10. Okay, you're starting at 40 and you're losing two dogs. Oh, that's bad when I say it like that. You're giving two dogs to Mr. Sadler each time. Okay. Good? Okay, now for the hard math part. What do we have to do? Can somebody tell me the process to finish off this question. Yeah, go. Foil. foil everything out. And once we foil, what do we do? Complete the square. This is a big question, okay? So I'm going to pause on the video. Um, and I'll get you to foil out and complete the square. If your head is on your desk, and you wish it was a soccer game. Lift your head up and foil. Aiden, I'm going to start with you. Aiden, I'm going to start with you. Complete the square first step with what? Hey, guys, stop talking. Please. Thank you. Uh, this question worked out way too beautiful. I'm going to throw this one for tomorrow. It worked out lovely, in fact. All right. Derek, what do you do next, please? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, you can take the x function and divide by 2 over there. Okay, great. All right, Caleb, what do you do next? Uh, you can put 16 and the negative 16 in the equation. So negative 50 back x squared minus 8x plus 16 minus 16 plus 12,000. Awesome. Uh, who are we up to? Cass, I can talk to you here, please. What do you have, please? Um, negative 15. Yeah. I get x squared minus 8x yeah. plus 16 yeah. plus 16. Yeah. Okay, great. Can you finish up, please? Um, y equals negative 15. Bracket x minus 4. Bracket. Okay. Right. Hey guys, stop, stop, stop. Question eight. Yeah, I scared the whole thing off there. Then, like, you take myself. No, you just told me you can't write here. Yeah, I'm sure I read to you. Why did you just come out of the steps? Okay. Um, what I'm going to recommend, okay, hold on a sec. What I'm going to strongly recommend is not to. You know, if you, um, if you do that and you screw it up, you're going to get destroyed 
or are we okay? Um, now, this question is nice because the numbers are all nice and big. Would you do a number like, you know, 3 over 19 or something like that as a fraction, then um, it's easy to make mistakes. So, no, you will not formally lose marks for it, but um, you're probably going to be making an error in this So, my vertex right there, I'm going to go ahead. Yeah. Okay, great. So x equals 4. Okay. Now, of course, Maya, does that mean that we're selling our puppies for $4 a piece? No. No. What's our okay. So my price then is going to be uh, 300 plus 25 times 4, which should be $400. Therefore, the therefore puppies. This question is a lot nicer when there's puppies. Mm -hmm. That should be sold for 400 bucks. That's why you have to pay? Yeah. Now, again, this, say this is the Y value here. That's what money they make. And the people selling the puppies would be 12, make $12,000. Okay, but they'd be selling a huge amount of puppies. That's like that that no, you don't have to. Not necessarily. Yeah. Is there a way to do these questions without doing quadratic? Um, yeah. like, no. like, okay, is there? No, no there's, okay, I'm going to pause because I don't want the world to get at us. Okay, yes, there is. <laughs> when you get to calculus, I'm not. There's no answer if you want to test. Anything uh, possible. Wait. Number eight on this? Yes. You're not going to get our assignment? Yes. Are we going to get our assignment? Oh. Yes. 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 Okay. Um, are we going to do a circle question because the stuff we didn't show it, so are we going to do a rectangle? Uh, I don't think that would be one. Yes. Oh my gosh, this one's going to be Okay, this one um, is an awesome question, I love it. What's the maximum of the area for property given the following shape? If she has 100 meters of fencing, what's meant to maximize the area? So you want to maximize the area. Wait, it's exact on the assignment. Okay. I'm going to get you started. I'm going to get you started on this one. Okay. You're done, you're good. Okay, so it says she has 100 meters of fencing. What will that be, the 100 meters of fencing? What's another word for that? Perimeter, thank you. So perimeter is going to equal, well, all that added up. So you've got to get some variables in here. I'm going to use X's, likes, and W's, okay? So I have an L, 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 and I have all of this is going to be my width. Okay? So what's the perimeter of that um, equation going to be? 2W plus 5L. 2W plus 5L. Is there like 5? If you want to, I like the last there. You could, you could do like 4 W's on the bottom and 4 on the top. That would be 8 W's on. That seems like a lot to me. Okay, so I'm going to say then my perimeter is 100, I said. And I want to maximize my area. What's the equation for area of that? Right? L times W. Now here's the issue of what makes this question so evil. What do I have in both equations? L's and W's, I don't like that. How can I deal with that? And I don't have the moment of brilliance for this question. <coughs> Good. Excellent. What I'm going to do over here is I'm going to isolate W here. I'm going to say 100 minus 5L equals 2W. So 50 minus 5 over 2L equals W. No. Okay, so why is this helpful to me now? This is the magic of this question. Oh, you don't know. Oh, because you can put it in. Good. So now I'm going to say my equation for area is going to be equals L times 50 minus 5 over 2L. Now I actually have L's in there, so I can boil this out and call that negative 5 over 2L squared plus 50L. If you want to call plus zero in there for those who need it, and you can complete the slope of that. This is like a level hard question, okay? That's like a level difficult question, right? You get the substitution in there. Probably tomorrow you probably not going to see that, okay? But that's like a, this is a challenge question for sure. Yes? Say someone is asking on the assignment, would they be able to do this? Would they be able to do this? Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Yes. You lose half a mark. You lose half a mark. Now hold on a sec. So this is my rule, and I've been through this. I'm going to explain one more time. You've forgotten. Okay. If the question gives you decimals, you can use decimals. Right. So the question, the first question, they was Bailey shooting the basketball, and they had negative 4.9. Great. There's decimals in there. Going down. Okay. But you want to try and be as exact as possible. This one I think should still work out, doesn't it? Okay. Yeah, you get like even numbers, so that's. You should still. It should still help you work out. So. Um, yeah. This one probably would not, but this one is an awesome question nonetheless. And I should have put it on, but I didn't. So the five questions we're going to be on, if you're curious, hold on. Just if you need a recap, I got one last question. Right, right now. The five questions, if you need a recap, are this um, vertex and a point. And this is all on your sheet from yesterday, right? But I'm just sure we're sneezing. Number two is going to be uh, three points. Uh, into y equals a x squared plus bx plus c. Number three is going to be traditional. Uh, Worst problem that seems like our world of today. Uh, number four is going to be a geometry. And number five is going to be a um, revenue. And those are, let me get that to be surprised. I told you guys that the last two days, and it's on your sheet there for that. Okay. No, the, the question was, will there be any definitions? No, there'll be no definitions. Things you should know. Um, on the sheet from yesterday that you got, right at the top it says, um, the things are over first of all, those five equations you should know. Right, so you should know what vertex form is, what standard form is. In the square plot form and the revenue of price on sales. But I will not say something like, um, please give an example of a word problem that makes you do this, but I'm not going to do anything like that. Okay. Because if you take a look at these questions, uh, three, four, and five are all fairly sized for starters, time wise, goes, right? Like, even that last question that even though uh, Aiden said that he skipped all the steps in the middle, like, there's a lot of foiling, like, there's a, it takes a little bit of time to do. Yes. So revenue is completely square and geometry is solved. Yes. Okay. And again, the, it, because in revenue it says find the maximum, and the other one says when, right? So like it goes to like the two words. Okay. All right, there we go. That's it for today. Is that? What's that?